Welcome to dessert. You know, if you're going to cook with fresh food, you have to be ready to be flexible and creative. I had this wonderful dessert plan with honeydew melon. Got what appeared to be a ripe one, and actually it was ripe, but once we opened it up and cut into it, it just had no flavor, and I thought, I can't pretend this is all right. It's not all right. And yet, I had um, planned a really nice, simple, but nice dessert. So I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? And I remembered that we have this peach tree in the backyard. Now these peaches are not going to win any prize at the county fair. They came off of a tree that actually came up from a, a, a seed in, in the compost bin. And we tried cutting it down and it keeps coming back and it had these peaches on it. So I said, and I knew that they were about ripe. <clears throat> so I went out, picked them, tried them out and said, hey, that's going to be dessert. So instead of the honeydew melon, that I planned, we're going to have peaches, sliced peaches. I sliced them up small, partly because the peaches were small already. And I sprinkled on top just a little bit of raw sugar because I wanted them to start to sauce just a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of amaretta. Now this is not to get too much alcohol in this fruit, but just a little bit really enhances the flavor of the fruit. Amaretto on peaches is just magical. If I had used the honeydew melon, I would have used rum. There. Now if I happen to have red grapes or bananas, I would have added that to this mixture as well, but that's what we've got, so that's what we're going to serve. I toss that around, I've got those flavors mixed. I think nicely. And to make something special out of out of dessert, I think that we eat with our eyes as much as we do with our, our taste buds. And so I shined up something that belonged in the family. It's belonged in this family for about 50 years. And we associate it with good times. We brought them from Spain, actually. Got them in Spain when my dad was station in Morocco. So a lot of memories tied up here. Oh, this smells good. Real good. Very pretty. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. And now I'm going to pour on just a little bit of organic cream. We don't want to drown the fruit. We just want to give it a little bit of extra flavor there, some toasted almonds on top. Almonds and peaches go together so well. And actually the pit of the peach, the kernel in the pit, has an almond flavor to it. Now, isn't that beautiful? Let me turn these so you can see them. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells heavenly. Serve this as a wonderful light dessert. Serve it after a meal that's kind of heavy, but leave a little bit of time for the heaviness to, to settle to the bottom and then finish up with this. It's just uh, a, a wonderful way to finish up a meal. If you have uh, peaches, bananas, and, and red grapes to go together, it's, it's a visual that is memorable. Any of the melons like cantaloupe and banana, honeydew and banana are a great go together. So try them. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of of alcohol like the amaretta or brandy to bananas. Have cream on the top or serve this over top of ice cream or put whipped cream on top. I mean be creative and just enjoy it and watch everybody else enjoy your cooking. It's a lot of fun. So till next time, see ya.